Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Pretty much probably have things to do in this DLC that do not involve going after Dr. Mobius, so... On with it. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? Yes, I've recovered all of them. What? You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always filling it up with his psychotic calls. Oh yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. So, do they have the information you need? Yes. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes. Um, hmm. Yes. What? No. I mean, yes. You just need to analyze these technologies for a moment. They are extremely advanced, you know? Do you even know what they do? I know how these technologies work. <laughs> of course I know. If you remember, we described them in on how to use them. Would the suit's dampening abilities allow me to sneak into the Forbidden Zone? I suppose it could. If it could be quiet for more than a few moments. Hmm. It does have an... Let me check. I have it. Well, not hidden. It's actually... It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and... You see, using the antenna to... Was that my plan? Hmm. So the technology seem more useful, medically, somehow. Whatever. The only medicine Mobius will need is a res. What? So I go after him then. The door should be uns. And that message is science. Um. Absolute. Wankers. Right, get things repaired first. Might I, be of service? I need my equipment repaired. Let's so, Carbine and the rest I can put as is. Let's get on with it. So. Ready? Steady. Christ's sake! Did that actually damage them? Over. Well, that's in the same place anyway, so I may as well go there. Just get inside. What? Is it just me, or is he actually enjoying this? Regulation, backup generator log. Yes. Beautiful. 
Well. Let's see. Oh, that was not what I expected. You start bumping this up as well. I really need to start bumping into this. So by the next level, I should be able to get the um. What A crash perk. Fighting over. Uh oh. Fighting over. That did a fair amount of damage, actually. Yeah, Pack Crash as a perk doesn't really bring me anything, but it's not something I need, but it is so much a quality of life improvement. Distractions, you say? and other stuff. Yeah, the only, the only thing this gun is really useful for me right now is a utility weapon. control system. Yes, this is what I want. Let's see, let's see, let's see, where is this? Hmm. Classical. Yes! New target! X forty two. I'll do, Turrish. I'll do. Alright, let's just grab everything I can first. Emergency shutdown terminal. I don't design skill for that, but nice to know that there was a way to do it. As much ammo as I can because I do not know what Mobius is going to be like. It's more like I actually can't remember what he's going to be like. And a little save just in case.
neutrons attached to the neutron. The neutrons attached to the meson. Mesons connected to the proton. Hell. Hmm? Yo! Hello there. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. You seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? It's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Is that pressure? Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises oh, were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? Uh, thanks. <sighs> I love Mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. I forget them all not long after, though. Especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. You aren't exactly what I was expecting. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Why did you seal my brain? of raisins you're something of a homily the uh, anomaly uh, you're really quite special and not in the cranially challenged way you see you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at big mountain a victim of your own success as it were if you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure well your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Why is that a problem? I'm not sure, except that I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I have very good reasons for almost everything I do. Even if I forget them occasionally. Needs my brain back. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent. Has all manner of opinions. Tell you what. I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. Okay. Things I'm curious about. Oh, curiosity. I experienced that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. Well, I can't fix your monitor, but you're, if you're getting ghost reception, I think I can fix that. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. Oh. So, why are you broadcasting threats to the think tank? Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent, except when I am. Then, watch out! 
So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Can you tell me about your Robo-Scorpions? Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert. <laughs> like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they have survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes and data drained computers and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. Wait, 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 wait. Sounds like you built the robot scorpions and issued threats to keep the think tank occupied. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. Who you've told me just doesn't add up. Like Doctor Mobius. Your name. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name. And my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. So you program their names as reprograms as part of a recursion loop. Why? To trap their processes or something? Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh but yes i did uh, it takes some liberties with their programming it's all right they don't remember i certainly the recursion loop is designed to prevent the flow of information so the radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough they keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have plan C's in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. Uh, probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say... Fine, Mobius. O or zero is a circle, eight's an interface symbol. They're all loops. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't. They have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that. Um, 
minor detail, but the snake developing its own tail is Ouroboros, not Ouroboros. Really? So, if you lobotomize the Tink Tank, why terrorize them? Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the Think Tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up, then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. There were other visitors, though. Why am I different? There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. So, you mean the bullet that went into my brain? Mitchell tried to patch me up. A I should have Mentats in just you instead of the other way around. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology, for once, worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... So you set your threats in the loop to keep them occupied? Yes. I certainly wouldn't loop it on purpose. 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 I said the the idea to get idea to get three technologies out of your broadcast. Coincidence? I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my life. But the Think Tank download the schematics, not the items. They can rebuild them. Oh. Oh well, at least. Was there any other data transmitted in your threat broadcast? Yes. My overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse, and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the thing. But I couldn't delete you. You're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave free. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. Huh. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think that they had them all the time in the store. Hey. Well, that guy is not what I was expecting. The hell? 
That's my brain. Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? Are you my brain? No need for that. I mean, beating your own brain is kind of odd, you know, completely outside context. Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good Lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? Yes, because running around a crater full of bizarre science experiments hygiene is a top priority. I'll talk about something else. Of course you do. How did Mobius get the hell of my get hold of my brain? After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. How did he manage that? I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Seems like a pretty unlikely coincidence. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Well, that answers that. Something else. Well, You such a. Well, that's a fine. How do you do? Me, a uh, quote dick unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? Yeah, of course you're responsible. You're my brain. I most certainly am not. I'm the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive doesn't seem quite right. And you're an expert on your own glad be pretty fun that stuff. Fun? Fun? If the things you do with our body are suicidally dangerous, and if you could silence your glandular Don't you want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get back into the head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definite look at it from my perspective. In your head, I've got... Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly... Right, so... What can I do to make this a fair company? If you want me back... First... Showers! Second... That Julie Farkas woman, for example. She seems to know a thing or two. Third... You need to listen to me more than your hormonal quiet. So, you'd rather just stay here, not leave in that tank of whatever that stuff is? Well, certainly there might be some things I miss about being ambulatory. We have seen some incredible sights, haven't we? Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios 1 coming back online. But still... Given the tremendous, potentially life-ending peril that went along with those, yes, yes, I'd rather stay here. I don't really believe that. I don't believe it. It's just a simple fact. What? Right. If you like being stuck in there so much, maybe I'll just leave you. Oh no. Please don't deprive me of being... I don't know how I could bear it. 
Look what happened to the think tank. Do you want to end up like them after a few hundred years? It's true. The brains here have experienced some degree of deterioration. I'm confident that with a few decades of work, I can solve the problem. Then, surely you've taken into account the corrosive effects of long-term exposure to biogel? Of course I accounted for that! Do you think I'm so stupid? No, you're right. Maintaining my current functionality will be harder than I thought. This bears some further hmm. looking into. What would happen to me if I left you here? Hmm. Let me see. I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. Unless, of course, the batteries. And if I put you back? I'm not entirely sure. I suppose there's a chance that what form that might take, though, I cannot say. Yeah, there's actually a bug in the big branch part that doesn't work. You can stay here. This hassle. Oh no, you don't... Okay then, I'm going. Well, so long then. Going back to the think tank. They promised to let me out. And you believe them? Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches. And that is assuming, of course. Let's go make them share. Come on, brain. It's stomping time. Hmm. I'm going to give them a demonstration of the physics behind small, fast-moving chunks of lead. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do miss that lovely rat -a boom a bit. What the... If the think tank won't hold up their bargain, we'll make them. Let's go. Right. I suppose now that we're reunited... Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit... Right then, off we go! Well, this is not the way I expected this to go. I'm not going to bother upgrade restoring my original heart and spine, there's just no reason to do that. So now, that did not go the way I expected it to. Need to find samples for the biological research station. They're not too far from here, so I'm gonna leave this episode here and then gather those off off screen. And in the next episode, we're gonna take down the think tank, one way or the other. That's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.